Hey folks, it's Chris Wall. I'm working on the Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam, and so I thought it'd be great to actually create a study guide that you can follow along with me as I progress through the learning process. Join me on Twitch as I do probably one to two hour streams frequently throughout the week and the weekends to create the study guide, go through the labs, answer your questions, and just kind of hang out with a group of people that are interested in a common goal. Here's some highlights from my first stream where we use Terraform to build a launch template that's used in an auto scaling group so that we can easily use Kube Admin to install brand new Kubernetes clusters. Probably like, oh wow, <laughs> you don't have to put anything in it. Okay, I didn't know that, that's cool. It's always an import command at the bottom. Terraform, pop, 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 pop. yep. Terraform import AWS launch template.ck dash node. Oop. There we go. Okay. So I got it imported, and then I just kind of want to see what's going to break here. So let's plan and just see what it vomits. Yeah, yeah, practical tests are kind of cool. I've taken a few in my life. They're they're expensive to set up on the back end, so oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Oh, and they already base 64 the user data. That's kind of nice. Hmm. And T3A small is two CPU, two gig, so it works. So what happens when you take messy code? All right, clean. Oh, way better. I <laughs> just can't can't stand it when it looks gross like that. Argument name tag specifications not expected. Do you mean? to define a block of type tag specifications. Oh, is there no equal? Is that my problem? Set of string, oh, okay, that's true. That I should have known because most security groups do support multiple objects so that you can layer them together. I think that's all I need. Uh, launch configure, I wish you could hide this option. I don't even want it showing up. <laughs> Cause I, anytime I've gone from the console for a while, I forget which one to use. And it's, this one's under auto scaling group. So I always think that's the one. I think that's it. Oh, you know the other thing I wanted to look at was the instance launcher we should have. By the way, let's make sure. Yeah, that looks good now. Encrypted, yes. And big old bash script. That all looks right. <laughs> I hope that looks right. Let's see. $10 says it doesn't work still. It has its good days and its bad days. The latest version of launch template. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> I should have just read that first. What is this one? Example usage. This is all garbage. There we go, launch template. Nope. <laughs> okay, so I must be setting it elsewhere, like when I made the, the ASG. I feel like most of my Terraform code is just trying things until the errors go away. <laughs> yeah. And then you, uh, and then you just forever borrow your own code once it works. Volume size is zero, it's smaller than snapshot. Oh, I gotta say the volume size too. Ah, uh, uh, dependencies. I almost always format invalid. I should just make a command that formats and validates. Clean it. Ah, cool. I wonder if that zero is a good idea too. <laughs> Feels like a bad idea. There we go. It's there. Who knows if it's good or not? The right data center. That's nice. <laughs> it's always, it sucks when you get the wrong data center. It might take a little bit just because the user data script takes a while, but it runs in the background. Once we have these nodes up and running, we can scale them. Then learning Kubernetes on top of them is pretty trivial. Kube cuddle. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning into this highlight reel. And again, I'd love to see you on twitch.tv slash wall network. Make sure to drop a follow there and let me know here, comments, what did you think of this video? Is it worth it? Do you like it? Would you like to see more things added or removed from it? Please let me know because I love hearing from you. Take care.